I'm going down to Gin Anthony morning. You're a very fit boy, aren't you? I know, I know. Now, guys, when you go on a holiday or mm -hmm. perhaps uh, you're just popping over to your house over mm. in Spain, do you ever get searched by security at the airport? Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you like it? <laughs> yeah. You get the yeah. gloves on. I, I mean, they make me take everything off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Belt, shoes. <laughs> I can't understand what we're going to do with my shoes. Well, they, they take can, them off. You can hide things in there. Perhaps yeah. they just want to look at your No, I'd be toes. taller if I hid things in there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. You've yeah. got to deal with that's That's life, isn't it? Absolutely. Nowadays, and you've and got that's to deal the job. With. What about you, mm. my man? Um, I got some haggis taken off me in mm. New York. Went out to do a Burns supper for a client. Yeah. Had my haggis. In your suitcase, as you do. Yeah. And uh, they thought it was a, a, a biological hazard. Well, it's shaped like a bomb, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and they, they confiscated it. And I had to put in an incinerator mm. and burn it. Oh, Swine. well, that's what happens. Perhaps Americans. you can get your own back because we've got a couple of security guards on the programme today, ladies and gentlemen. So, will you please welcome Sophie Benjamin? <laughs> How are you? Very so, good. tell us, Sophie, security guard at Heathrow Airport? Yes. Uh, so, which terminal are we talking about? Uh, terminal 1. Terminal 1. Busy? Oh, yes. Yeah? Oh, yes. N nice people coming through there? A few. Yeah. <laughs> do, you get, do you get many haggises and suitcases? Is that something you ever come across? Not yet. No? I'll look out for you next time you're coming through. Yeah. Yeah. Always, got, <laughs> always got my haggis I'll get you next time. <laughs> Just in case. And, uh, and his naps and titties. <laughs> what? <laughs> naps and titties, what do you call them? <laughs> Nips and titties. Nips tatties. and titties. There you go. <laughs> we got there in the end, didn't we? <laughs> Let's have a look in your bag then, Sophie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my darling. OK, okay. what have you brought us along here? Uh, a piece of cod. Uh huh. So I never Ooh. really cook fish, so I thought a nice bit of easy cod. Yeah. Oh. Um, some baby beetroot. Mm. I love beetroot. Yeah. Scotch bonnets, I love my hot chilli. Mm. Scary chilli. Lovely. Very hot. And mm. mango and onion and rice. Yeah, and you've got your Thank coconut you. milk there too. Yeah. So it's a sort of got a bit of a Caribbean influence going on here, isn't oh, it? Oh yes. Very nice. How much did you spend, Sophie? <sighs> Seven pounds fifty-five. Fifty-five. Five P over. But you know, you can't tell what how big your mango's gonna be these <laughs> days, can you, like <laughs> me, You can't, darling, you five P over. What do you think, Chef? Lovely bag, lovely yeah. bag. That's a biological terror uh, hazard thing though. Oh, it's they're so hot. Yes. Blew your head off, didn't we like it? Oh, yes. <laughs> Some girl like Hot it spicy, better, yes? Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> you have to spice me up, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's a I friend think I'm of hers. The show. <laughs> a friend of hers that uh, also likes it a bit spicy. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and she cooks really well, too. Please welcome Kitty Campbell. <laughs> Lovely to see you come and meet. Hello, baby. Hi, Gizzy, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Ah, well, you've worked with Sophie, didn't you? I have, yeah. Um, well, I do, actually, yes. Yeah, and I've um, seen you guys at the airport before. Yes. We have a little bit of a laugh and yeah, a walk through. Yeah, the last time we seen you was Christmas time. Mmm. Uh, hi, Gizzy. I know, a little bit of a wave, <laughs> don't we? Hey, so, uh, good in the kitchen? Do you do you like to get out there and express yourself? Uh, I like cooking, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I've been cooking for a long time. Did that when I left school and... Um, Sort of like just been carrying on, but I like cooking lots of different things. Are you, mean, are you mean? Are you mean? How I mean? Are you mean? <laughs> if someone argues with you, mean. Uh, well, I would I like. like okay, I, like I, like I got. I got the look. I got the look. You got the look. What are you talking about? You said Anthony. All right. What have you brought along here then, Kizzy? Right. Well, although I do cook, mm. duck I don't usually cook normally, mm. so I bought a little bit of stock. Mm. Mm. Nice. Um, figs, um, fruit. Don't really know what to do with them. Yeah. Um, so I thought. Give it a try. Mm. A bit of cheese as well. The blue Stilton love my blue Stilton, and a red pepper because I'm a red pepper today. Mm. Um, What's well, it? A red tomato? No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> red pepper. Shh. There you go. And a sweet nice potato. couple of sweet potatoes. Some mm -hmm. cabbage. How much did you spend, kids? Seven fifty-one. No, oh, that's not too bad, is it? Mm. Eh? Four p less than your friend over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, you know, <laughs> we know. Our budget. I know. What do you think, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think chef? Good. Nice yeah. bag. Lovely. Happy. Okay. Good. Have a chat with Kitty, and I'll okay. find out what Nick is going to be doing for Sophie. Right. I think with some of the cards, we'll mm. do uh, a marinated cod with beetroot. So we'll mm -hmm. take the lovely colour from the beetroot, mm. and then we'll roast some of it, and we'll do a nice coconut uh, curry peas to go sort of thing to go with that as well. Right. And um, make a lovely mango uh, coconut smoothie with some honey and yogurt Sounds and stuff good. in it. 
classic rice and peas got to be done mm -hmm. and I think there's a rice pudding is a coconut rice pudding with a bit of vanilla in there oh, and yeah. some glazed mango oh, yeah. on top of that oh yeah <laughs> just, just a girl, yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah I, I, uh, oh, yeah <laughs> I don't blame you darling it sounds lovely. lovely thank you very much Nick Sorry. what about you Kizzy let's find out what Anthony's going um, to do split the duck in half mm -hmm. kind of big size one with a little um, hot salad mm -hmm. with um, some cabbage and a red pepper sort of fondue glaze mm -hmm. the other one we're going to make in a sweet potato and duck curry uh, we're going to uh, do a baked egg with some stilton. We're going to do some stilton glazed figs. And sweet potatoes will be in something. Mm -hmm. Not quite sure yet. OK, sound good. Figs cut in half and baked off and all that type of stuff in a salad. Good. Mm, nice, yeah. yeah. Ooh, all sorts of wonderful, exciting things coming up. And what's even more exciting, ladies and gentlemen, is we've got a competition coming up later on and your chance to win a rather nice £300 hamper. But a little bit of that later on. First, they've got 20 minutes when I say, ready, steady, cook. OK, up and running we are. There we go. Now, it's kind of unusual what Nick uh, said there. He's going to take the fish and he's going to kind of shred the beetroot down and all that lovely colour of the, uh, the beetroot's going to bleed into the fish. It's going to be really unusual to see that. The other half's going to be cooked down and like sort of coconut kind of curry sauce. You ready? Traditional okay. rice and peas. Lovely job, boy. Creamed boys. rice with a nice glazed mango piece okay. on top. And, of course, over here, Anthony, we've got the lovely duck salad. The other one's going to be sort of slightly sort of roasted off, if you like. We've got the cheese, we've got the cabbage, and we've got those delightful little figs. They don't look very juicy at the moment, do no, they? No, they'll be right by the time yeah, we're going to cook them down and make them really come to of uh, delicious. And I don't quite know what our chef's going to do with the sweet potato yet, but I guarantee you guys, you're going to have about ten dishes in the next 20 minutes. Lots of lovely things going on. Now, what about this bit of cod? Were you uh, impressed when you first saw it then, Nick? Yeah, it's, it's lovely and thick, and you can see the colour of it. It's got that sort of lovely opalescence, mm -hmm. um, which is always a good indication that it's fresh. But the, the, the one thing that will always tell you about uh, whether the fish is mm. fresh or not is to have a smell at it. And if it smells like the sea or like seaweed, yeah. then it's fresh. Yeah. And if it smells fishy, it's not fresh. OK, that good. Is the, the uh, you've got the uh, Sophie's over there. She's washing the yeah, old... Yeah, it's got uh, the scrubbing. Scrubbing. Yeah. <laughs> she's a, she's <laughs> a <good> scrubber. <laughs> hey. Hi! <laughs> you're, you're not a scrubber, scrubber are you, are love? <laughs> Scrubs are you. Last one. <laughs> yeah, do you want one of those? Um, Would that help you? Would it help at all? Yeah, what about what about getting these stains off your fingers, Nick? Do you just wear a pair of rubber gloves? Or? Well, I always wear rubber gloves if you're doing that. Oof. Oh, oh yeah, always protect yourself, make a real mess yeah. Your <laughs> He's only one in you have, darling. <laughs> just wash them the best as you can. Do you do you have show. rubber gloves in your work? Oh, oh yes, latex, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, always uh, on hand, yeah. <laughs> no, don't start her off, Nick. <laughs> I can show you if you like. No. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, nightmares about dear. that. <laughs> Tell me more about your cod, mate. Go um, on. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, um, sorry, this is the yeah. rice pudding. So yeah. it's just the coconut and the, uh, the rice. That Ideally, you'd want to use a starchier rice than, uh, than basmati. Mm -hmm. Basmati doesn't have a huge amount of starch, unlike, you know... Uh, a short grain rice Arborio or something rice, like a short that. grain rice, which would be great. Okay. For this, so um, I'll add. Just All right, and uh, you're a probably a few of you at home thinking, "Oh, why is our chef rinsed the rice?" Well, I think today, ladies and gentlemen, when you talk about sort of basmati rice, the way they've been sort of manufactured, if you like, it's it's not like when you used to go buy them when my mum used to buy them in the big sacks, and they used to just take scoops out. You can get all sorts of stones and seeds in them, so. You know, we are under pressure here, so the chef's just whacked it straight into that little coconut broth. I, well, no, I don't down. want to, to wash it, and the, the reason I really don't want to wash it is I don't want to wash the starch, starch off it. Off the outside, because I need the starch mm. to thicken up the, uh, the, the rice sauce. pudding. OK, yeah. great. So, the, the first thing I want to do is get the base on for the mm. curry. I tell mm -hmm. you, I don't want to touch that thing. They are lethal, these Scotch oh, bonnets. Well. Really... Grab a little bit of oil in your fingers, and it will protect the pores of your fingers, yeah? and you can wash it off really, really? quick. That's what my mum used to do, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, a good A little tip. bit of oil there. OK, I'll come back and see. I'm going to pop down to Anthony, and we'll come back and see how you're going to be doing that cod in a moment. Looks a lovely bit of cod, though, doesn't nice it? Nice bit of fish, yeah. Yeah, OK. What have we got here, Chef? We've uh, got a little curry on the go. Mm. We've got a red pepper already in the oven, half baking off to go with my... Uh, yeah, what are you looking <laughs> for? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what are you <laughs> looking for, darling? Some garlic. <laughs> oh, some garlic. Hey, the chef's got it over here. Here we are, my darling. Oh, young garlic, babe. Oh, thank you, you dear. Oh, okay. Okay, that's all right. All right. So we've got all these lovely spices the chef's incorporated into the curry mix there. With curry paste, we've got the cumin seeds down the bottom there, the turmeric. Have you put cardamom pod in there, chef? Yeah, a little bit of cardamom. Okay. In there as well. Chili powder and dried chili flakes. All those lovely things are in there. 
just small quantities. So how often would you say that you, you cook sort of spicy food at home? Is it most meals that you eat then, uh, Kizzy? Uh, not most, no, because, um, well, my partner's West Indian, so yeah. we do eat a lot of spicy food at home mm -hmm. sometimes, but we I make quite a lot of sort of like Italian, yeah. um, French cooking, And then he takes Chinese. the hot pepper sauce and puts it on the top. No, actually, I've got, I, I've got them... I've got them um, <laughs> It's got them trained now, is yeah. It true? It's like, taste your food first before you put the pepper sauce on. There you <laughs> go. There you go. It's like my dad, everybody. I think that's what's traditionally, what, you know, people that came from the Caribbean then, they wanted a little bit of hot sauce and everything. It's changing, mm -hmm. though, you know? Yeah. All our tastes are changing, aren't they? Well, as I say, I mean, what's the point in taking <coughs> the food if you're going to be tasting yeah. the same thing all the time? So, Absolutely. Yeah. Couldn't agree with you more. OK, we've got a bit of duck that's already gone in the oven, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. roasting off. We've got a pepper that's in there, too. And I'm just get, cooking the skin so it's nice <laughs> and crispy, but I'm actually going to keep that without skin for the curry. Mm -hmm. So that's going on. OK, um, savoy cabbage. Savoy cabbage, nice cabbage, yeah. They... they oh, you've got yeah. all the sort of Jan, January kings and pointed cabbage, spring pointed cabbage, things like that. But I think Savoy is one of my nicest. Now, it's Chef, these spices are cooking down quite uh, Quite viciously. aggressively. Yeah. I think you want to turn it down a bit for me? All right, then. I'm just going to put my duck in there, then. OK, that's just... Let's hit that really nice and low. That's fine. And then some sweet All potato right, going in there. Mm-hmm. As well. Thank you. And a sweet potato. Lovely. So, when, when uh, people walk through, what's the strangest thing that you found? Um, strangest? I'd say the, the most bizarre was they had a young girl come through one day and she was... She looked... I mean, she looks thin, but she was quite bulky looking. Yeah. And um, she came through the archway, activated the archway, so I said to her, like, you know, I need to give you a quick check. 14 minutes. So yeah. she said, yeah, um, OK, so I'd given her a big check, and she had on, like, four coats, about six T-shirts, three pairs of jeans. I mean, this is all on, this is all on just a one body. Was she going to North and... Pole or something? <laughs> <laughs> Going on, I haven't got a clue where she was going, but I mean, like, and I, I just said to her, I said, why have you got so many clothes on? And she had, like, all her knickers in her bras yeah. tucked in her pockets and yeah. her toiletries, her toothbrush and everything. But no luggage? No luggage at all, Maybe no she suitcase, or bag. suitcase. Well, that's yeah. what I thought, but I mean, I just said to her, I said, why have you got all that in? And she said, um, she said, well, it just saves me carrying it all in a bag. Yeah. <laughs> well, simple you know. stuff, simple stuff. <laughs> But you had to strip search her anyway. I had to strip search her and get everything off her, and yeah. then and like, until she was down to her last pair of jeans oh, and t shirt. Oh, but... love. What's a oh, lovely idea, though, isn't it? It's <laughs> got to let her get on with it, though. That's it, that's There's it. There's some really a strange, you always find strange characters at the airport, didn't you? People okay. going and toing and throwing and stuff. We'll talk again. Let's see okay. how the chef's getting on here. Okay, that's cooking down. That's the ducks cooking down with all the curried spices. Remember, I pointed out all those spices to you. He's got the sweet potato in there. We're going to hit that with a bit of stock and yeah. obviously lots of other lovely things. Lovely okay, bit. chef. I'll come back and talk okay, to you. Okay, see you in a sec. Back down to the green pepper kitchen. Let's see how okay. Chef Nguyen's getting on down here. Oh, okay. now. Oh, what have you got her doing here then, Chef? What's going in here? A bit of garlic into my curry sauce. Mm -hmm. So, in here we've got the grated beetroot. Yeah. Um, I and... we were talking about this earlier. Okay. Yeah. And a little bit of uh, oil. Ooh. And the juice of a lime. Oh, and wow. some salt and pepper. And a bit of chilli. So, do you cook that or is it just no, no. marinated in it's it? The, the juice from the lime will actually cure the fish. Yeah. Uh, and I'm also going to put just a little pinch of sugar in there as well. Wow. Ain't? And the, the sugar just see. helps to... Just look at that the, colour, guys. Uh, look at that. Just a little pinch of sugar. It's absolutely okay. lovely. And it's cured. It takes about ten minutes to, okay. to cure. And that's so. the, the, the acidity. That's like lemon juice, lime juice, anything. You squeeze it on some good raw fish. has to be really good, though, guys. Good quality raw fish. Okay. And it will come through. So, Kizzy's just been telling me all about sort of people walking through with lots of clothes on and stuff like that. Have you found anything strange, people walking through the security arches? Everything's strange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people carry weird things, oh, don't yeah. they? Oh, yeah. There's always someone that's got something that, you know, mm -hmm. you think, why? <laughs> I know. I, I once was at the airport and I'm, this man got very flustered because he was carrying an engagement ring for his wife, but he didn't want her to know. Does that type of thing happen quite regularly? Oh, yeah, bless. Yeah, you get a lot of men coming through with their engagement rings. And yeah. Their, They'll either come up to you at the beginning and say, oh, I've got an engagement ring, you know? Yeah. Or they'll have it on them and they go off and they think, oh, no. Yeah. You know, and they try so, and... So, and they try, obviously, they don't want the missus to see it, it, do yeah. they? So they'll probably send the wife or, or the, the wife-to-be in front of them, something like that. Yeah, then, and when he goes off, she comes back, what's going on? I know, exactly. <laughs> she wants to buy that. What you got there? Who's that <laughs> ring for? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and he hasn't even proposed for it yet. <laughs> So, Nick, we're straining the rice. Are we going to be sorting that off or doing something no, with that? No, uh, just going to go straight in there. <clears throat> OK. Uh, with some peas. Yeah. Which, just the heat of the rice is just going to cook the Nick, peas. Nick, anything else to do? OK, okay yeah, we'll we'll watch another job. Look, and she's already asking. Isn't it, Do you want another job? Oh, well, you know, good oh, 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 Right, uh, <laughs> could you finally slice the onion for me? That would be very oh, good, wow. thank you. Oh, yeah, just <laughs> looking at... 
<laughs> She's looking at us. She don't cook. What, what do you do for I food? I cook. Then? I eat. <laughs> <laughs> My mum and my mother in law. I've got oh. Kizzy. <laughs> so, how many times a week oh, do you go around to Kizzy's? <laughs> do you go to Kizzy's a lot? Uh, as often as I can. Yeah. I've got a little girl, so whenever I get the spare time, they go up there and Kizzy will cook. Good cook, she? Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Excellent. She always eat me out of house and home, you know. <laughs> <laughs> She'd always do what, Kiz? She's always eat me out of house and home. Does she really? Yeah. She likes coming down there. She like her food, does oh, she? Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. I can't understand nothing. why she's not bigger. <laughs> <laughs> You call, that train. You're calling me fat. <laughs> 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 oh, I love it. Yeah, darling, look, very simple. Do you want to have a go at that now? No, not really. Yeah. No? <laughs> <laughs> I can't win with her, can I? I can't win. You're doing a great job there, Angst. I know, there we are. Nick, all the onions chopped up. He's just trying to give you something to do there. Do you want any herbs chopped up, Shit? <laughs> yeah, some coriander, oh, some curry, chai. It's be nice. <laughs> Yeah, See, coriander and... That's coriander. No. That's coriander. And those long grassy ones there are chives, yeah? So we just pull those out. And very gently, just take your time, you can just chop those up. OK, just take the knife there <laughs> and just nice and slowly just cut that through, OK? Oh, good idea. No that's problem right. at all, Ooh. my darling. OK, we've got nine minutes to go. Um, okay. Mango. So, Not impressed. Why does a mango go like that? And what should you do when you find that, Chef? Oh, uh, I it goes like that it because so it's been mechanically harvested when it's underripe, so it's yeah. been bruised. And there's not much you can do, just cut the bruised bit out, I'm afraid. OK, there you go, guys. Um, just, I do it, we all do it. We all sort of cut open fruit sometimes and see inside a little bit brown. You think, I spent all that money and it's really frustrating and annoying. Just got to cut it out and get on with it. Maybe change your supplier or change where you shop with it. Well, tell them. Would you take it back, Nick? <laughs> do you know what I would say? Like my wife is also, I'm going to take that back and we take that back. And you find it about three days later and you never actually get around to taking yeah, it back. Yeah. But I always feel like taking it back. Avocados, they annoy me more than anything else because, you know, you get avocados and you think they look absolutely gorgeous yep. and you yeah. cut it. Half of it's right and half of it's oh, raw. I know. You know, it's, it's so, so frustrating. Gets me cross. <laughs> oh, there you go. We like the chefs giving out a bit, don't we, eh? <sighs> oh, lovely. Eight minutes to go. I'm going to pop back to see Anthony. I'll come back and see okay. you. But okay. before we go, look at that. Again, you, Nick has used the beetroot there and you're just saving that. How long would you cook that, stop, that a piece of fish for? cook that piece for about... Three to four minutes on each side, but six minutes yeah. on the cooking side. All right, we'll come back and find out how things are going. Let's get back down here. Okay. Oh, get, Chef, tell going, us what's happening going here, on. Then. The duck carries on there. Mm -hmm. um, the red pepper glaze is on there. That's got vinegar, a little bit of white wine, some sugar in there. Mm -hmm. Carrot soup's on here. And will you blitz that down, or is that just going to no, be...? No, it'll, it'll just be a, a reduced right down to a sticky glaze. Mm. Oh, that's that good. Works. And so that's quite a hard, aggressive boil, isn't it? You yeah. just put it on high heat... It's got to be on high ..and heat. just let that go. OK. OK. And I know it looks a bit busy, five pans on the stove here, but we're doing lots of different dishes, guys. Absolutely. You won't have to do that. Can you chop me up some cor... No, 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 no. You don't understand. <laughs> You've got uh, all the way over. I want the whole plate covered. So oh, you want the whole, whole plate, plate covered? covered. Yes. Oh, but that looks so pretty, didn't it? Tough, yeah, I'll tough. Have you been doing this? Oh, he's a hard man, isn't he? He's a taskmaster, isn't he? Eh? <laughs> you tell him off then, darling. You can still make yeah. it look pretty, mm. but you just got to do what you're told. All right, sorry. That's it. I, I knew I'd seen you, you before. You can slap me It was between that security guy. You, you told me off, I remember now. Yeah, just wait till you come round next time. Yeah, <laughs> you'll do more than strip searching, wouldn't you, darling, eh? I can't wait. Anyway, fine, went to... Uh... Lovely. Oh, that's right this time. Is that right this time? <laughs> Mm. No? Yeah, that's lovely. Oh, I right. think they're having a bit of a, a, a laugh up there and all. OK, what's a uh, oh, right. bit of that? Is that a bit of duck fat on that's there? That's a bit of duck fat. I just want a little bit of crispy crackling. Mm. Is that coriander? Interesting. Coriander, lots of chopped coriander yeah, and a little one, bit darling. of mint. Pull, pull, pull the whole bunch out. That whole bunch. That's it. Just rip it out. There you go. Is that good? Yeah, we'll OK, that. she's got lots of different mint in that. What about her food? Do people like to put luggage in there or food in their luggage? Yeah, yeah, we get quite a lot of things come through in luggages, but I mean, um, it's not so much fresh food all the time. It's mostly like tin things, yeah. like beans. What's the most common thing? Baked beans. Baked yeah, beans, I yeah. can imagine. Baked, baked beans. Baked beans. Yeah. Um, we get the old tea bags because there, nobody can go anywhere without a cup of tea. Yeah. Exactly. Um, well, but do you have to confiscate stuff like that or not? Uh, no, no, not, yeah. not usually them. It's usually if it's like um, fresh food, yeah. like meats and um, cheeses out, and stuff like that. Inside the European them. community, inside exactly. the European community, it's for your own consumption. It's okay, isn't that's it? That's it. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's quite so. interesting. I didn't know that. Anne. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I sort of. Did a campaign for the airports about mm. if in doubt, leave it out. Oh. That's, it. That's quite a good campaign, that, isn't yeah, it? Eh? It was. I actually remember once when I went to, uh, I was travelling to Australia and I had a bit of a dodgy hit then, so I had a walking stick and I, I went from South Africa to Australia and I took the, the wooden walking stick which I bought in South Africa and, and they were ready to confiscate it. Really? And he took my wooden walking stick, which was really old, old piece of wood, and he started smelling it. 
And of course I turned around and said, can you smell what it is yet? You know. <laughs> <laughs> and he got very offended. They don't like you taking the mic, I tell you. <laughs> and one, one of the security guards thought, you would have found it funny, wouldn't you, darling? I would have, I would have. And uh, I got away with it and I've still got my walking stick today, which I pass on to my dad and he's very grateful. Anyway, my darling, um, so you, you kind of get people that come through with tins of food. Is it's that cabbage? Oh, oh yeah. Yep. Sorry. That's it. That's it. Thank you very much. Tins of food. What about uh, the drug problem? Has that been sort of sorted out now? Or, um, or do people still try and get away with that type of thing? Oh, yeah, they're always going to try and get away with mm. it. Um, we still get the odd one or two that come through. Not Maybe not so much as in a vast quantity, but yeah. you get the odd one, like, come through with the, the little smoke in the, yeah. the roll-up now and again. Sure. But, um, do, 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 do you have to... What was the procedure? Do you ever get nervous when you see someone with a large quantity of uh, that type of thing? If you've got a large quantity, then it's, it's sort of like a customs referral. Yeah. And they, they, we more or less just sort of, like, find it and then they take over from there. All right. And you've got to um, be quite discreet then, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, you do, yeah. So yeah. it's like uh, you can't just turn around and say, oh, look, mate, John's got about 10 kilos of, you know, whatever here. Yeah. But, um, yeah, you've got to be quite discreet about it. Yeah, make um, it work out. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. What about Sophie down there? Does she do a good job? Do you like her? Oh, What's yeah, definitely. Yeah. No, we're just finding out whether how good you are as a security person. Oh, <laughs> well, I've got to say she's good, isn't she? She's my mate. So is she I've got really? To say that, yeah, but she, she... she's had Chris Eubank up on her shoulders, isn't she? No, that was me. Was it you? Yeah, that was me. Oh, what was that like then? <laughs> he came through one evening and it was really, really quiet and he had, um, he had a, obviously, I think it was his minder with him. Yeah. And um, he came through, he activated the archway. The, ch the fellow, because it's usually a male, yeah. such as a male woman, uh, such as a female. And um, he said, uh, oh, I want her to do it. And I said, well, I'm sorry, I can't do it, you know, Chris. So he said... <laughs> Best friends. <laughs> Three minutes to go, guys. Three. Said, sorry, I can't do it. So he said, um, all right, then. So he, he let the bloke search him. And then he said to me, but I'd still like you to have a go. So I said, all right, then. So I gave him a quick frisk. And he was like, so he said, he said, yeah, yeah. He said, you're quite a strong woman, aren't you? You know, he's filling your muscles. And he was like this, yeah. And I said, yeah, yeah. I eat my Weetabix. Yeah. And he says, um, yeah. He said, you're not too bad. So with that, I picked him up, put him on my shoulder, and I uh, went running down a concourse with him. So I like the search area. <laughs> so I was jogging down a concourse with him on my fireman's lift. Oh, uh, he was so pretty. He's got his friend. Like, oh, quick video this, video this. Oh, no, I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine. Let's see how our chef's getting on. OK, this is the salad with the duck you're talking about, yeah, chef. Yeah, little duck. And then there's <coughs> the red pepper compote is going to be on the, um, on the, round the outside. OK, lovely. And we've got the caramelised sweet potato there. Everything's cooking down. We've got that really lovely reduction. That's going to be a little bit of a glaze that's going to go on Absolutely. top. Absolutely. Let's pop back down to Nick and see how he's getting on here. We've uh, got the old gun, have we? Fabulous. Just gonna, yeah. Just press the button, I think. Just press the button. Yeah, yeah. You all right there, Chef? Yep. There you go. OK. OK, we've got two minutes to go. Do you want to come and do this, my Could darling? I'll chef? give you that there. OK. There you go. Just until it gets really nice and brown and bubbly, OK? Uh -huh. All Just right. Keep, let's keep it going. Two minutes to go now. Let's okay, keep beautiful. this food going now. Okay. Audience, keep thinking about what the chefs are doing. Have they impressed you enough? All this food's really coming together. OK, tell us a little bit about this. This is the fish. How long would you normally marinate this for, Chef? Uh, ten minutes. Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you do it for too long, easily, it completely cures the fish uh, uh, through. And it's okay. a bit like overcooking it. OK, like okay. it breaks down too much. Yeah, and it, it's, okay. it, it loses its texture. Mm -hmm. So the time it's had, ten minutes, is absolutely perfect. Great. Spot on. Lovely. And that's been better. Through, everything's bled into that beautifully. Got the rice and peas. And briefly, what, ha what, ha what have you got in your smoothie? smoothie? So that's a coconut milk. It's the yeah. mango pureed down with honey and lime juice. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of milk and a little bit of yogurt. Lovely. Delicious. Fantastic. Absolutely got delicious. A lovely pea curry going there. Beautiful. We've got a kind of a uh, <laughs> very rustic type salsa there. The mango. Our fish is just looking sensational Whoa. there. Really, Whoa. really lovely. All right, let's go nestle on top. That's OK. Wave that around. Get that really close now. We've got about 45 seconds to go, my darling, so really get that in there. Can you see that? Yeah, That's it. That's OK. That's nearly there. Don't touch that. Really hard. All right, then. And did you get yourself any wine and so for Oh, yes. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mess about, did you, girl? Oh, no ramping when it comes to Yeah. <laughs> OK, we've got about 30 seconds to go now. I think that is Lovely. enough. That's it. OK, get that going. Oh, my God, you're going to burn the place down. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I smelled burning. <laughs> oh, Jesus, it's all happening there. Don't worry. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You do have your uses. Ten, nine, eight, seven...
comes together at the last moment, doesn't it? But to remind you of what our chef started off with, Nick Nairn had a piece of cod and basmati rice, coconut milk, baby beetroots, mango, peas, sweet onion and scotch bonnet pepper. Whilst AWT start off with a large duck breast, sweet potatoes, savoy cabbage, Stilton cheese, figs, red pepper and banana shallots. Oh, let's find out whether they've secured their taste buds sufficiently, our security guards. Hello. Hey, this is going to get your taste buds going, isn't it, my it darling? It is. Go on, pick up your cutlery, bit. have a bit of a go of everything, and Nick, what are you going to call this? Mm, good one. Mm. <laughs> this security card won't let any mango. Mm. <laughs> That's worth a little dance, a little dance. <laughs> This is holding my All right. All right, tell us. Eh? Right, this is going to blow your head off. Honestly, this this sauce, yeah. OK? Just have it with a bit of the cod. Leave yeah. the, that's it. Right. There's a whole scotch bonnet in there. Mm. I tasted it and it nearly took my head off. Is it hot enough for you? No! <laughs> <laughs> but it's gorgeous! Hot. She was giving me a hard time, so I took the seeds out. Oh. I'll leave them in! It's gorgeous. OK, so this curry sauce, mm. um, coconut curry sauce. Mm. So it was onions, garlic, cooked down with the coconut milk. Uh, cardamoms, a bit of curry uh, um, uh, paste, a bit of garam mm -hmm. masala, and um, a whole scotch bonnet through there. Amazing. It's, it's Amazing. Mm. Roasted cod, roasted beetroots. This is really interesting. So it's a very mm. thin slice. Did you like try this? first time you tried that? Yeah, first time I've tried Very yeah, thin yeah. slices of raw cod mm -hmm. marinated with lime juice and the, the grated beetroot. Mm -hmm. um, that was nice. A little bit of uh, seasoning through that and some sesame oil. Mm -hmm. This is a smoothie, just very uh, simple. Um, half oh, of the mango, a sip of that pureed thing. down with some honey and some yeah. lime juice, some coconut milk, a little bit of uh, uh, ordinary milk, and finished with some mm. Greek yogurt. Nice. Good after Gorgeous. that. Take, mm. take some of the heat out of that. Peas and rice, uh, mm. lots of coriander, lots mm. of lime zest, lots of lime juice through there. Um, a little uh, mango salsa to go with this as well. And that's just the chopped up onion, mango, coriander, mm. chilli, um, uh, sesame oil and lime juice. And then the, uh, the rice pudding, which is just the, the rice cooked down in the coconut milk with some honey, uh, with a thin sliced mango, and then glaze, glaze on a little bit of sugar top. glaze. Mm. What do you think then, mm -hmm. Sophie? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Is that good? good? Is that oh. good? Whisper. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's having a good time, oh, isn't like she? That. Wonderful. Oh. Kissy, it's your turn, my darling. You pick up uh, your cutlery and have a bit of a go. Sorry. What are you going to call your chef? Um, maybe ducking and diving. Or, oh. hey, you, anything to the duckler. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's worth a dance. Come on, darling. Yeah. Hey, baby. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, dancing with the security <laughs> guard all night. <laughs> there you go. OK, you cut stuck in. What did you do, Chef? OK, let's take this one oh, here first. We did the thinly sliced figs with the glazed um, Stilton and some mm. cream there. Just very simple, put it under the grill. Here, mm -hmm. we roasted the, tomato, the red pepper, we baked it an egg in mm. there with Stilton and cream, like and we did some lovely mm. little um, sweet very potato nice. chips mm. to go all the way around here. Here, duck salad, very nicely pink duck with a mm. red pepper compote mm. and a salad with some dill in the middle there and some oil and vinegar, a little salad with a cabbage leaf, just very, very lightly cooked. Mm -hmm. Here, this is Coconut. No, it's not coconut. You've got the coconut. This is mm. curry. It's a duck, duck and sweet potato curry. Very nice. Would have done. Could have, I should have asked to borrow some of your rice. Some from you. Here, this is coconut. Oh no, you've got the coconut. No, this is curry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if I, if I, if I, if I may finish. Yes. Be good. Now, I have oh, a soup gorgeous. here, a lovely soup, like a garbour, which is uh, cabbage mm. and tomatoes and sweet peppers. And we didn't mm. have tomatoes. No, no, no tomatoes. No. Ignore that. Um, we've got uh, little duck cracklings on there, on the top. Little duck cracklings. Try lovely. that. It's really nice. Lovely, oh, lovely, sweet little what, what number. What do you think overall? You're happy? Mmm. Mm. She's happy that too. Is, that's to die for, that one. Well, you keep eating, my That was lovely. Beautiful. I'm one, yeah. Absolutely Taste that one. excellent. Mm. Hey, ladies, we're really pushing for time here. Haven't they done well, both of our chefs? And, of course, our security girls are thoroughly enjoying it, but... Did they impress our studio audience enough? Is it going to be a green day or a red tomato day? Let's find out. Will you all please vote now? And up they go. And you can see this is a close one, isn't it? But would you believe there's one or two more? Green! <laughs> <laughs> I told you! <laughs>
Well done, my darling. Thank Congratulations. You. Yeah. You happy? Oh, yes. £100 spending money there for you. Thank you. And look forward to seeing you next time I'm passing through the of airport. Oh, you don't you. know. It could be the local high street, couldn't it? <laughs> Thanks so much yep, for coming Callum, on, yeah. Sophie. Enjoyed Thank it. You. Oh, um, yes, oh, very much. Jeff, I'm going to do the search for Haggis next time. <laughs> oh, oh, but you can't him. wait. <laughs> hey, Kissy. Hello. There you go. Uh, hey. You're the cook, so fortunately you get to take home the lovely Ready Steady Cook hamper. That's quite all right. Yeah, I know. You enjoyed it today. You're going to your mum's next week, love. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I think they had a little bit of a bet there, didn't they? <laughs> Thanks very much indeed, Chef. Yeah. Always an absolute pleasure. It's, it's been great. great fun, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do the quickie back now. In the meantime, let's say a very big thank you to Best of Friends. I hope still. Yeah. Sophie and Kizzy. <laughs> Another little challenge for our boys here. We've got some, oh, char-grilled mushrooms in olive oil. A lot of these lovely, nice products around. Very convenient, and uh, they taste pretty good, too. Nice. Pancetta. Mm. We've got some organic peeled um, cherry to or to tomatoes, whole tomatoes. Lasagna sheets that can be uh, prepared in three minutes. Sunday. Some... Uh, mm. oh, that's Green really beans. Green beans and some traditional buffalo mozzarella there. Buffalo. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, a lot of ingredients. Top ingredients. What do you mm. think? Well, it stacks up and some little uh, ravioli mm -hmm. uh, mm. stuffed with um, mushrooms and mozzarella, perhaps. Um, a little <coughs> pizza, mm. a bread yeah. pizza, uh, done with tomatoes and some more mushrooms. Uh, a salad of beans and bacon and maybe some deep-fried croutons or something like that. Um, T ten minutes. And uh, we actually, you got lasagna, but why don't we make some fettuccine? So we'll just cut into strips and make a tomato and garlic sauce with that. Great, OK. So real use of the old pasta sheets there. Mm. doesn't have to serve them just because they're like that. Anthony says, chop them up. But what about you, then? How are you going to change their mind? Um, very similar ideas to Anthony. These, these ingredients do suggest that kind of food. But, um, I would do, actually do the lasagna. I'd do a mushroom and uh, mozzarella lasagna with a sort of creamy sauce. Uh, and then shred this up and uh, do a nice uh, garlicky tomato sauce to go with that. And um, like Anthony says, well, actually, instead of doing the, 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 the sort of Italian uh, salad, I'd do an Asian salad with the beans and, and, a, and a pizza, but I would do a flatbread pizza. Lovely. There you go. Lots of lovely choices there. It's a bit confusing for our audience, but you guys, confusing you've got to make us. up your mind. What's it going to be, the green peppers or the red tomatoes? Will you all please vote now? And up they go. Ooh, look at this, eh? Oh, wow. Oh. Sympathy vote, I think. Oh, I think it is a bit of a sympathy yeah. vote for Mr. Worrell Thompson. Thank Let's you. get cooking. Yeah. All right. Okay. Your ten minutes cooking time, chef, starts now. Okay. Let's yeah. do it. You okay, what can we do uh, Make some plus sauce. Yeah. Some beans. Okay. Beans, if we can do the bean salad, I'll take some of that. I need some of that. Okay, right. I'll give it okay, back go. to you in a minute. I'll do the nice bean salad. A little bit of crouton, maybe a bit of bacon. OK. And um, I'm going to knock the ravioli up. Yep, all right, that's, that's no problem at all. And we'll get all these out. Lovely, let's just uh, cut that down. Now, right, I've got my beans here, Chef, so literally you just, you just want these cooked off, don't you? Exactly. And I'll just trim these down, nice crease. So, yeah, do you like the old lasagna sheets, then? Is it a good convenient well, they product? They're pretty good now. I mean, you always used to get them just dried before, which made it very difficult to do other things like ravioli. Nobody could ever make ravioli at home. Mm -hmm. So I think this is quite a nice idea. If we can get it right. If you can get it right, that's it. Yeah. Just a practice makes perfect, doesn't it? Anthony? Well, I haven't got a lot of time. <laughs> I know. About <laughs> nine minutes, actually. There you okay, go. Well, right, a little bit of water going do. in there. Here, we we'll give that to uh, Nick for that. Mm -hmm. There's some of that. Okay, lovely. Thanks. Well, that's it. I'm just going to put these in a frying pan Thank and just you. cook these beans off very, a very bit quickly. Of water. And then we can get the old pancetta on. Oh, all right, right then. What is Nick actually doing? What Nick's you... making my uh, tomato sauce and he's going to do shred up the fettuccine. Um, and he's going to make a little pizza base. Just a flatbread base. Okay. Pizza Do you need that okay? That on, chef, at all? Mm. Yeah. Now, Nick, what about that pizza base? You've just sort of flown through there. You got into it ever so quickly, chef. Tell us how you just, did that. Just uh, plain flour, a little pinch of salt, and uh, some olive oil, and just enough water to make a thick paste. And then I'm just rolling it out nice and thin, uh -huh. and then straight onto a hot uh, uh, skillet. Yeah. And we'll just toast it on either side. <clears throat> And then we get this tomato sauce. Uh, yeah. Okay. You get that bacon left? Nope. Yeah, yeah, bacon I've got left. The, yeah, I'll give you some. When as soon as it's cooked, okay. I'll let you have Soup. a bit, then you can sprinkle a bit on top. So it'll be so. there for you. 
OK, I'm just starting off with a little bit of oil. Generally, when you're cooking the pancetta, you can just put it into a dry pan and all that fat will naturally melt. I'm just going to help it on. Just a, a little splash of oil there, just to kind of get it going. OK, we want to bleed that sort of all that lovely right. fat out and really capture that flavour. Then we can make some toasted croutons to go that with our first salad. first one wasn't any good. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a good start. Uh, first one? What's that, In the chef? bin. Is it not good? No, not good. What happened? It's um, split. Did it? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Mm. And what are you stuffing it with, then, Well, chef? I'm stuffing it with the mushrooms and the um, mozzarella, but um, it's, a this pasta's one. a little bit drier than I imagined. Mm-hmm. Look, it keeps ripping. OK, well, that's... Uh, uh, right. well, I don't know how you're going to do okay, that. Maybe you have to change... That's maybe change. Good, um, open lasagna, then. Open lasagna, OK. Yeah. There you go. And there was us praising that product, and suddenly well, we've got to go yeah. back the other way. A little bit stiffer than I had anticipated. OK. But you know, sure. that's what learning curve is all about, isn't it? Yep, totally agree. All right, just trim this up. That's OK. Right, in the bin with that. How are those beans look in there, Chef? Coming along? Yeah, they're, they're very right, good. Yeah. Want to change those? Doing that. Transfer. OK, that's for your. That's yeah, for. Turn that on. OK. Right, we're doing open lasagna, guys. We've changed what we're going to be doing here. And that sometimes happens, you know, when you're cooking, you and think, oh, something's... Right. This is good. Is it going, Chef? Nope. Uh, let's have a go for you. Uh, I was doing the wrong one, wasn't I? Yeah. <laughs> that always helps. <laughs> you turn the right one on, I think, don't you? <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm sure it's all going to come together. It will all work out in the end, when it ends. Well, it will. OK, six minutes to go now, guys. Come on, we've got to crack on with this, get all this out. Yeah, let's get that in there. OK. How's that, Nick? You're do, doing you've good. Already I'm just going to make some fettuccine mm -hmm. um, by taking the lasagna sheets and then just finely slicing them down like this. So it starts off as lasagna and ends okay. up as fettuccine. Okay. Mmm. And it's such a simple way. But is it a shame? Is it the fact that you're buying lasagna and then you're chopping it up? You're better off buying fettuccine or no. your tagliatelle. I, 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 it's got, there's something really nice about hand cut mm. pasta as well. Mm -hmm. You know, it's got a nice sort of texture to it. Lovely. So OK. For... Let's get that pizza base over, shall we? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So you get get all your sauce. different pieces. My on sauce there. coming up. OK. Right maybe a few more croutons there. I'll and make up food. a very quick herb salad. I'll, do. I'll just spoon. take a spoon. Uh, oh. mm. OK. I've got a quickie question coming for you shortly, gentlemen. So. There we are, and we're just about halfway now, so that's a perfect indication that I need to ask you a little bit about that. All right, then. We'll a tiny bit more of my pasta later. Yep, mm. okay, we'll a little bit left. Lots of lovely flavours going through there. And today, the uh, question this afternoon <coughs> comes from uh, Cathy Bearfield from Hatfield in Hertfordshire. Hatfield Heath, actually. And she said, I'm confused between best before and sell-by dates that you see in the supermarket. Can you tell me what the difference is? Well, best before is the supermarket telling you, thinking you're going to have it in your fridge maybe for a couple of days when you get home. And used by date is really when you should have used it up. But uh, to be honest, they're, they're, so, they're so worried about people getting ill. I mean, mm. usually you've got a couple of days after the best, so, mm -hmm. uh, after the best before. They're just saying it's the best before. They haven't... Absolutely. You see what I mean? I mean, yeah. it's... Sell-by date's when you... Uh, they've got to sell it off the shops, and that's... You go on the day of the sell-by date, you get everything half price, which is always great. Do you ever do that? Oh, all the time. He's <laughs> <laughs> an old miser, really, eh? That's uh, I, I'm always seen in the old supermarket special office, so... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> six o'clock at night. Oh, that's yeah. around. Six Wait for the announcement. Best, best time, first thing Monday morning. They've had the weekend, they've overstocked, and it's all there, ready for you to take. <laughs> there you go, what a good tip that is. Not, not only cooking tips we give you on this programme. What about you, Nick? Do you like going off to your supermarket or your shop and doing a little bit of last-minute shopping? Um, no. <laughs> Why not? What's I wrong love with it? shopping. Because Mrs Nairn does it on the internet. Oh, yeah. Well, you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere yeah, there. Yeah, you know. 20 miles. Any, to any cream 20 miles up there in the world. There's lovely cook schools up there and everything. Any cream in your fridge? Mm -hmm. um, I think there is, Anthony. Can I bring it across yeah, to you? Yeah, I got it, I got it. OK, everything's sorting down. Everything's looking good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it, we've got the mozzarella that's... Uh, Going there, a little bit of those herbs going in there, Chef. Yeah, a little Happy. bit of cream. <coughs> Touch of cream. OK, beautiful. OK, let's go. All right, that's cooking down. Get Touch of salad Just ready. a little bit of salt, not too much. Bit of pepper. Yeah, those mushrooms in there. Mm-hmm. Hate wastage. I know, bung them bung all in there. 
You could be there, a Scot, okay. Anthony. Well, I do have a bit of Scot in me. The left leg is my Scottish bit. <laughs> That's it, lovely, all coming together. Yes, the left leg, yes. Um... All right, and we're <laughs> rushing around like mad, ladies and gentlemen, but at the end of the programme today, I'm going to give you an opportunity to win a wonderful hamper, a £300 gourmet hamper. Your very simple question. That's all you've got to do is answer that, and it could be yours. OK, two and a half... You're right there, mate. Yeah, my you smashing the place up. up. OK, two and a half minutes to go. Them. Let's drain off these beans. Oh. That's OK, Chef. <coughs> OK. OK, beans in. already cooked. OK, you've got that little herby salad, a little bit of a dressing to go in there. We've got one pizza in the oven. Oh, that's it. A little bit of the old balsamic in there. OK. And a touch of olive oil. There we are. Doing my open lasagna here. OK, I'm going to drain these off, actually, yeah? Do you Shall I get rid of all that uh, yeah, bit of you could, little fat bit of and stuff? You can like use that. a bit of oil with a salad, because uh, it's quite nice with a bit of vinegar, splash of vinegar. OK, well, I'll drain them all in here with the beans, Ooh. and then whatever the oil comes through, that's it. How about that? That'll be OK. Uh, any okay. mozzarella left by any chance? Yes, there we are. A bit of mozzarella Beautiful for you, Chef. Thank you. Just left you some OK, there. one and a half okay. minutes to go. Mmm. And uh, tell us a little bit, uh, Chef, about the old buffalo mozzarella. It's traditional bu uh, yeah. mozzarella, isn't it? It's, it's where it originally came from. Hand rolled on a maiden's thigh. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, that, that's cigars, isn't it? Um, <laughs> well, anyway, it is hand rolled. I know it that. It is hand rolled. But yeah. I don't know where they do it. Um, <laughs> It's normally made by the cheaper varieties that you buy in the supermarket, unless it specifically says buffalo. It's normally made with cow's milk, guys. So check that out. Absolutely. And the difference uh, of They've taste. They've got buffaloes in this country as well now. Mm -hmm. oh, They've got we... buffaloes here and all. Yeah, they have. Oh, lovely. They've got buffalo quite near us, down near Henley Way. They've got buffaloes. Is that you're not your back garden, is it? No, no, they're too small. Too, and my garden's too small. Ah. For, for the old buffaloes. Okay, what about another serving dish here? Oh, here we are. Look absolutely lovely. Drinks, parsley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in there. Yeah, I think straight in there. Here we are, Chef. Hi, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Do you want it on which, which dish do you think? Uh, this one, yes. Yeah, OK. Oh, Pizza. That's it. Put that on the top. That's there. That. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful. Look, we're, I can't believe we're so organised there. I know. Look, look at this. Time for a cup really of tea. coming together. That's it. And a little, a few sesame seeds Thank on you. top of Thank that. Thank you. I'll clean down and your section, really Chef. Good. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'll, I'll make it all tidy. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Cooking! Yeah, we've got about a nice little selection. Um, yeah. Beautiful colours coming through there. All right, Chef, what about a name? Well, under the circumstances, I think uh, it couldn't have been any pasta. Oh! <laughs> and uh, what did you do? Well, not a lot, actually. We made an open-faced ravioli yeah. instead with mushrooms, ricotta, um, and mozzarella, lovely oh, herbs, fantastic. and the tomatoes. So different layers of mm, that. Looks spread, just delicious. In the water. Yeah. Here, uh, we made a pizza. Um, Nick made his uh, mm. base. Lovely. I've just took all the ingredients, that lovely tomato sauce, the mozzarella, mm. you've got the char-grilled mushrooms from a jar. Over here, the tagliatelle. Finely shredded. Shredded up, yeah. yep, with the tomato sauce through. And the tomato is so quick, just a pan, olive oil, the tomatoes, white yeah. pan, reduce it down to five minutes. Lovely, and of course, we've got the delicious bean salad. All of these are available on our website. Mm. I promised you the competition today, didn't I, ladies and gentlemen? Your opportunity to win a gorgeous £300 gourmet hamper. And all you have to do is answer Paul Rankin's very simple question. Take it away, Paul. Spuds and tatties are slang terms for which type of vegetable? Is it A, potatoes, B, carrots, or C, broccoli? To be in with the chance of winning, call 0901 1110 810. That's 0901 1110 810. Lines close at midnight tonight and calls cost 25 pence. Mm, and good luck to you. Get dialing now. It really is worth it. It's a lovely, lovely hamper. See you soon on Ready, Steady, Cook from all of us. Bye-bye. Thank you.